Welcome back. The first stage of the new bus rapid transit system is happening now. The new lights have been put up at East Wash and 4th Avenue to help speed up travel time on Metro buses. Jamie Perez got a look at how these new lights work. Jamie? Well, these are called Q jump signals and they basically allow buses to drive right through red lights. Now, with these being the first of its kind in the state, we were wondering, well, how does this work with, work with traffic coming in other directions and how much time is this really saving? Traffic along East Wash can be a nightmare sometimes. But for bus drivers, it's been much easier lately. It saves us much more than seconds. I'll tell you that right now. Lon Bjornstad has been a bus driver for 25 years, and he's never been able to move like this. So the traffic is stopped by a red light, and we're stopped by the barrier symbol. There's our cue to go. When all other traffic is stopped by a red light, buses can now drive through them when this light goes vertical. And now we're out in front of all that traffic, not tr not having to force our way in. This is step one for Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway's new bus rapid transit plan. The light turns for the bus and we get to go ahead of traffic, which um, as a bus rider is like, that's great. The light is cued by sensors on the street. It can tell when a bus is waiting and no other car will be able to set the light off, so don't bother trying. Oncoming traffic has a red light also. The only ones that can move in, in the direction we're going is us. This new concept has concerned some people on Bjornstad's route so far, thinking that he was illegally going through a red light. There's a few that said, what are you doing? <laughs> With this being the only light of its kind in Wisconsin, this is a trial run to see how much time it's actually saving. Bjornstad says it's working well. We're getting to them on time is even a better answer for that. That's what is happening. We're making connections where it was really hard to do so before. While this one light is getting what were once late buses to each stop on time, Bjornstad says, imagine what it could do if these were all over Madison. But a big help to us. And if we could have more, I welcome them. Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway is hoping to get the entire bus rapid transit system up and running by 2024. This was just step one. Step two is happening soon. The city is getting the bus routes finalized by next month so the city can apply for a federal grant in September and then they will determine which intersections they should put these new signals at. All right, Jamie Perez reporting. Now, Jamie, thank you. Sure.